Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com with our update for Saturday, December 22nd, 2018. Free pick coming up in football in just a moment, a bowl play from today's action. Uh, first, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, if you're new to these videos, it's a real cool way to give it a try. Click on the link below this video and get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use that on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. Again, just click on the link below the video and get signed up for a free $60 account. You can use, by the way, that free account on my college and pro football package. Eight plays, starting with a couple of the bowl plays on Saturday. Starting with Saturday NFL, we got one of the games. Uh, we've got four NFL plays in all this weekend through Monday night, including a seven-star main event. We are perfect this season with our NFL seven-star main events. Five and oh, those wagering $100 per unit are up $3,500. We look to take that to 6-0 with a big seven-star main event. It's a Sunday game. It's part of the entire package that kicks off on Saturday. Eight plays in all, and you know how well we've done. 62-36 and 36 college football NFL run over the past 12 weeks. That's 63%, 12 weeks running. And those wagering just $100 per unit, well, they're up over $12,500 as we speak. All eight plays, four from college football bowl action, starting Saturday, going through next Wednesday, plus four NFL plays starting Saturday, couple on Sunday and Monday Night Football, and of course the seven-star in Sunday's football as we look to extend that run to 6-0, and 100% this season. All right, also on Saturday, we got uh, NBA that's going to be posted on Saturday morning. College basketball, I've got a seven-star main event going. We are 33-16, and 16, our top seven-star plays. That's our run with our last 49. We just cashed a couple of nights ago with the seven-star in college on Arizona over Montana. Our next goes on Saturday. NBA, college basketball, NHL, all available over at DocSports.com, and it will be posted on Saturday morning. The football package, by the way, is available right now as we speak. All right, I wanted to get to the betting report for this weekend before we jump into the free pick, just to let you guys know uh, where the action is on some of these games. And we'll update this on our Dari and Mel uh, show on ESPN National on Saturday morning. That's with Dari Noka and Mel Kuyper. Uh, I'll be on for about 15 minutes, and we'll kind of update the betting report for this weekend's games. Wanted to start, by the way, with an update on the college football championship games. We haven't talked about these too much, but of course they are on the 29th. Uh, Notre Dame and Clemson, Clemson 13, total 55 and a half. Irish getting the action from both the pros and the Joes. About 60% of the public tickets on the Dame, about 55% of the overall sharp action also on the Irish. Oklahoma, Alabama, you've got again, public and sharps lining up on one side. That would be Alabama, 14 point favorite, that total about 77 and a half. Got 55% of the tickets on Bama minus the points, 65% of the money driven by the sharps. Also on Alabama minus the points. As far as that total is concerned, uh, the public leading to the under, the sharp slightly on the over, a little bit more than 50% 50, 50 of, the, of the money coming in on the over at the book that I trust the most for these, most for these reports. Uh, also wanted to mention that as far as any other college football Joes versus pros, there's only two bowls between now, Saturday, and next Friday that have Joes versus pros scenarios as we talk. Uh, Wednesday in Dallas, Boston College and Boise. Boise laying a couple of points there. You've got the public 57% on Boise. You've got 75% of the overall money on Boston College, so the Sharps on BC. And then on Friday, the 28th of December in Orlando, Syracuse and West Virginia, 55% of the public tickets on the Mountaineers and uh, almost 80% of the overall money's on Syracuse. Sharps back in the orange, and of course, there was an adjustment of about four points made when Will Greer announced he wasn't going to play in this game for West Virginia, their quarterback. They've also lost a top offensive lineman who said he's going to pass the bowl game. So that was basically six and a half. Greer makes the announcement, comes back up at two and a half. Since then, it's come down more. Uh, West Virginia, anywhere from pick to a one-point favorite as we speak. Real quick, NFL Joes versus pros. There's a whole slew of them this week as we get late in the season. Uh, you see a lot of these bad teams where the public doesn't want to bet on them, but they come through when it comes to covering the point spread in a lot of situations. And we're seeing a lot of that going on. I mean, the Bucks and the Cowboys, you've got the public, about 65% of the tickets on Dallas. You've got the Sharps, about 65% of the money on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Dallas, a seven-point favorite. Sharps back in the Giants, plus nine and a half over Indy. Public, 60% on Indy. Overall money, about 70% on New York. Uh, right down the line, Vikings laying five and a half, six to Detroit. 60 plus percent of the public, 
the tickets on Minnesota, 55% of the overall money coming in on the Detroit Lions, plus the points. Rams in Arizona, even. The public all over the Rams laying 14 or so. Uh, the sharp money, about 60% of the overall money on Arizona, plus the points. And that's the way it basically is this week. One couple of, one final note, I should say, on the Joes versus Pros, the Steelers and the Saints, where the Saints are laying six. 57% of the tickets or the public have been written on New Orleans, while 60% of the money is on Pittsburgh, plus the points at the book that I'm using for this information. So you can see just a bunch of Joes versus Pro scenarios this week in pro football. And we'll update that on Sunday morning, about 12.30 Eastern time, 9.30 Pacific in the morning. Uh, we'll jump on ESPN National with Kevin Winter, and we'll update all these betting numbers and reports, and also do it on Saturday night's video. We'll, we'll give you the update on some of these, how the tickets might change and the betting overall money might change between uh, Friday night as we cut this and Saturday night about 24 hours from now. Real quick note on the New England Patriots-Buffalo game because I've been asked about this quite a bit. New England basically 13.5-point favorite. That might actually went up a bit after Josh Gordon made his announcement. Uh, his loss really meant nothing to the line or to the betters for the most part when it was announced. Real quick note, the New England Patriots are 6-0 and straight up, 5-1 and against the spread, coming off of back-to-back -back losses. Average final score, 35-11. to And earlier this season, they picked up that sixth straight win in that position when they took on Miami and beat the Dolphins 38-7 to at New England. And you'll remember in that one, Gordon was only targeted two times from Brady in the contest, and, and they just clocked the Miami Dolphins. Pat's 37-15-2 spread run is their current home mark over the last 54 games. So just a couple of the notes on what's going on this weekend in football. Again, we'll have the NFL betting update uh, for you on Saturday night, Sunday morning's video right back here. I uh, wanted to also mention that uh, we are going to be on at a special time on Saturday, again, about 11.30 p.m. Eastern, 8.30 p.m. Pacific, hopefully a little bit before that, give you plenty of time to listen to where the betting reports are, make your decisions if you haven't already for Sunday's NFL. All right, free pick. We turn to Saturday college football bowl action, the Armed Forces Bowl. Like the total here, sitting at 60 and a half, and we're looking at the under between Army and Houston. You already know about Ed Oliver if you've been following college football bowl, uh, uh, bowl practice and bowl information as teams prep for their games. You heard about his argument that he had in late November with Coach Major Applewhite. Ed Oliver going to sit out. He's going to get ready for the draft. Guess I don't blame a man who wants to get injured in a so-called meaningless bowl game when you've got millions potentially on the line next spring in the NFL draft. Uh, also, they are not going to have their quarterback, and Derek King is such a big jump above the kid who's going to be quarterback in Houston on Saturday. There's a big drop-off from King to their second-string quarterback. And I think you're going to see Houston held in check by a very good Army defense. Army's been good on defense all year long. Everybody talks about that triple option and the way they run their unique offense. But look what they did against Oklahoma for that matter. The biggest step up of the entire season for Army and for many, many years. They go up against Oklahoma. They held the Sooners to 28 points. They only, had, they only gained like 355, 360 yards against that Army defense. So I think the Army defense will be in charge of this one when it comes to facing Houston's offense. On the other side of the football, you've got Army, who I believe with that offense, even though Houston's had time to prepare, they're going to be able to sustain drives in a consistent manner like they've done all season. So you'll see the clock running, and I think 60 and a half is too high. Now the number came down uh, with some of the adjustments made with the Houston quarterback, things of that nature. But again, 60 and a half, I believe, is too high for this game. We're going to play under 60 and a half, Houston and Army, in the Armed Forces Bowl. That's on Saturday afternoon, 3.30 p.m. Eastern, 12.30 p.m. Pacific kickoff. All right, that's going to do it for us for Saturday. Uh, don't forget, we've got the big bowl package, which is yet to kick off with the NFL games for this week. It'll take you Saturday right through next Wednesday. Four college football bowl plays, four NFL plays, the seven-star mismatch of the month on Sunday in the NFL. We look to go to 6-0 on the season with these plays. Don't miss out. All available right now. Basketball available Saturday morning, including the seven-star in college baskets. All right, I'm Scott Spritzer. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We appreciate those who have done so thus far. And I'll be right back here again Saturday night about 11.30 p.m. Eastern time with Sunday's report. Let's put Saturday in the win column. I'm Scott Spritzer, .sports .com.